Hello everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to our My Player Career Mode. Good to see you. Hopefully you're all doing very well and having an awesome day. Thank you as always for supporting. Appreciate you all. We are back with another episode and if you're wondering what's happened, how are we at PSG? Well, we had our first full episode as a PSG player last time out, so go back, check it out. And if you want to see how we ended up a PSG player, you have to go to the episode before that. With one hour remaining of deadline day, PSG made an offer and that is how we are now here. In terms of how it's gone so far though, I'll show you our recent results. So, we started by making our debut in the last episode, a 3-1 victory over Nîmes. We then simmed a fair amount of games, but we played Man United in the Champions League. The first game of our group stage, we drew 1-1. We also had Galatasaray. We were leading by a goal to nil in the second game of our group stage. We lost it 2-1 with them scoring in the 90th minute. So that means today's game against Benfica, crucial. We have to win it. We've also then got Benfica as well, hopefully, in this video as well. So the plan is to get to the fourth game of the group stage and maybe sim a few games in between. But first up, straight into the action, we've got Marseille at home. We will join this as a substitute, our manager rating not quite there to start the game, but we'll still look to do the job. 500 likes would be awesome as always. Sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video, my friends. And here we are then. Let's see what's going on in the game. Nil, nil after 60 minutes as we join in place of Berardi. So there you can see the two sides. There's a couple of really good players actually in the Marseille 11. So won't be an easy finish to this game as Hakimi starts, Ramiro in goal as well. I keep saying it as well, the days are quickly going by to EAFC 24 being released. So really excited to bring you content on that game. And uh, if you're not already, subscribe. As that way, if you activate the notification bell as well, you won't miss an upload from any of our new videos coming on the channel. Thank you all, as always, for all of your support. Here is Rafa Liao finding Mbappe. We hold our run really well. Liao and waiting in the middle. He waited with a pass, but he still gets it towards anyway. It's blocked on the line somehow. And I don't know how it's not 1-0 PSG. Pedri's ball into my feet. There looked like there was a touch off of Marseille. And you know what? I don't know how we're not leading. Well, I do. And it's because our shot was blocked on the line. Oh, frustrating. Still, really easy to create that chance, though. You'd imagine there'll be more coming our way. Here's the ball for Mbappé! Yeah. He makes no mistake. 24 to play in regard to minutes and killing Mbappe's volley smashed into the bottom right corner. Marseille had a warning sign before this. They didn't heed it and PSG lead here. And since we've come on, we've literally had six minutes of just PSG keeping the ball inside Marseille's half. They've struggled to get out of it. What a finish this is. That's not an easy technique. The ball bouncing just before he strikes it, but wonderfully finished. No chance whatsoever for Marseille's number one. And that makes me feel a little bit better now that I uh, know we've taken the lead following my shot being cleared off the line. Because, you know, that's the moment really you'd say that we should have been leading in the game. And if that's the only chance we get and it's not taken, you kind of wonder what could have been. But Mbappe's goal means we are now leading. Hakimi's done well here. He'll play the ball down the line for myself. We'll go inside to Locatelli, who's gone backwards the way of Hakimi. That ball's there for Mbappe. He wins the flick on. I'm waiting to see if we have an option here to play Liao in the middle, but instead, it's just opened up for us wonderfully. My finishing boots are not on clearly in the first game of today. Oh, got to start scoring these chances. How many more do I want, man? I was trying to, I was looking to Liao and then all of a sudden, it opened up for us to finish, but we weren't able to finish. So maybe I should just be looking to pass the ball at this moment in time. We'll find Pedri. Pedri will find Locatelli. He'll find Mbappe. He'll find Liao. And I tell you what, for all the misses that I'm having, Liao and Mbappe certainly making up for it. Fantastic between these two. Yeah, tell you what, let me just pass the ball to these two because their shooting boots are well and truly on here. Marseille for 60 minutes. Look like they might get a point and in the last 10 have been totally dominated. Here is Botman, as I think the referee has given a free kick here for Locatelli's challenge. He did win the ball, but it was quite a strong challenge as well. It will give Marseille an opportunity to put the ball into the box. And there is the delivery. Easy, though, for Mukiele, who clears his lines. And now Mbappe, as he's found by myself, will get us away. And this time, surely, surely we will finish. There's no chance we pass up this one, right? There we go. 
3-0 PSG. He only took us three tries before we did actually score here. Mbappe, his link-up player, has been phenomenal in the last 15, 20 minutes of this one. Clean sheet still on the cards here for PSG, but Haji having his shirt pulled, but he still goes on here, Haji. And his cross was intercepted by Botman. Just seemed to run out of options there as that ball across the face of PSG's goal will be picked up by Hakimi, who has the out ball down the line to myself. He's cut back, though, and he'll find the ball forwards instead to Locatelli. Locatelli will now play me. We've got options in front of us. Here is Pecenovic. He'll find Liao. Liao will play me. And Marseille out well and truly opened up. And PSG have a fourth. And this goal starts all the way back at PSG's goal, pretty much. Play our way out wonderfully. Find the movement. And hopefully, I've said Pechonovic's name correctly. Let me know if I haven't. But um, regardless, what a way to start the video today, my friends. And we can only hope we can build on this with Benfica to come. And any moment now, the referee will blow her whistle. And there you go. It is full time from the Parc de Princes. PSG 4, Marseille 0. Table at the moment looks like this. Monaco top by two points, narrowly behind them. Our PSG and Lyon both on 20. Nice up next, their fourth. Tricky game this one. It will be one that we do play at the Walt Stadion. And then after this, we will be taking on Benfica. They go with a standard 4-4-2 here, Nice. Let's see how this one pans out. Locatelli, forward for Mbappe, Liao, you see us pop up in these central areas, myself and Liao, because the overlaps are so good from our full-backs, Manu Sanchez's ball, Mbappe, Pedri, Mbappe, Bazunu, I believe gets a touch, and it's a brilliant save to deny PSG, Mukiele now finds the feet of Hakimi, PSG just slowing the game down a little bit here, we started pretty quickly, now we're just looking to slow it back down, see what options become available with Mbappe. His touch was too close. It invited the challenge to come in. And now as Cornet has it for Nice, that's a lovely ball forward looking for Dieng, who has got work to do here if he still wants a chance. Botman just stands firm, stops the shot. Mbappe has been deemed that he's controlled that with his arm. I'd like to see it again, but we won't, unfortunately. It will be a Nice free kick. Half an hour gone here. Nice, at the moment, are preventing PSG from getting any sort of chance. The best we've seen was Mbappe's effort, which Bazunu saved after four minutes. This could be a moment, though, for a break. Mbappe, if he plays it, I was away. Just delayed the pass. I would have been offside, but now this is better. Here is Hakimi. Hakimi through for Liao. Liao's control and Liao's finish is exceptional. And it's just as easy as that for Rafa Liao as PSG lead. That was sublime from Rafael Liao. Uses his body well, stops the defender coming back across to make the challenge, and then that finish. Top, top class. Nice haven't done much wrong in this first half, but yet there's still a goal to nil down. Blanco, we're trying to put the pressure on him, and we will get the ball. That's a foul, surely. Nothing given, but that is half-time anyway, so we will go into the break leading. But I'm not sure the game is done at just 1-0 here. Into the final five minutes of the game. It has been a very quiet second half. We've defended well, not given Nice anything. Let's keep that up to the final whistle. We've been asked as well to play towards sort of a right mid position rather than right wing. So I will have to be aware of my defensive responsibilities as well. As Mbappe and myself exchange passes. Chance now then to go forwards as PSG looking to see the game out with Willock in the centre of the park. Finding Pedri. Control lets him down slightly. That's a good tackle by Hernandez. Two additional minutes now. And Nice have one more throw of the dice, do they? Here is Vlasic. The ball has to go forwards. The ball will go forwards. Here is Gilson. Gilson! Big moment, Ramiro. Goes out to meet him and saves PSG. It was the first and only moment Nice have had in the entire game and it could have been... So different. I take my heart to Ramiro. Outstanding in the final minute. Just a lapse in concentration allowed Nice to get the chance. They'd had nothing else in the game. But thankfully, PSG do pick up the three points in a slender 1-0 victory. And here's how the table looks at the moment. So Benfica beat United in the other game. So right now, if we beat Benfica and United beat Galatasaray, all the teams will sit on four points after three games. Really is a close group, this one, if that happens. So we've got a job to do. We're away at Benfica. There's the two teams. Strong side from PSG. We arguably should have won the game against Galatasaray. You can take nothing away from them, though, for that 90th minute winner. 
You have to imagine, though, the Benfica fans will make this a tough game away in Portugal. As PSG can see possession there from a throw, Hakimi wasn't his finest work. Sarachi can take them forwards down the right. But the question will be, who on the Benfica side is going to be the one to watch for them? Well, they do have the first chance of the evening. Ramiro forced into the first save of the evening. And it's still with Benfica now. They go for another shot from distance. Is that their game plan? To try and take the strikes from distance and look to cause us problems. Mbappe doesn't win his header. But fortunately for us, Neres is control lets him down. Mbappe will play the ball out wide. We'll go back and that was not intentional, but worked anyway. Here is Mbappe again for Locatelli. Now Pedri into the feet of Liao. Liao to Mbappe. Mbappe to myself. Out wide for Hakimi. We're on the edge of the penalty area here because I know the ball in might not work. That's brilliant. The touch as well to open up the space is sublime. And PSG lead after 10 minutes. Much more like it from us in front of goal. Oh, I wasn't sure when that ball came back in whether or not we were able to get the shot away. But there was a little tiny touch. You'll see it. Which just opens up the space for us to find the shot. And even then there's still work to do. That touch there. And then when we get the time. I mean, wow. The finish is good I think it's just the sheer power that beats the goalkeeper unfortunately it's in PSG do lead by a goal to nil following Benfica having the first chance of the evening Lopez oh that's nice that is really nice oh Musa should score again PSG opened up but Benfica can't take their chance they're a very good football inside but they won't be able to pass up too many opportunities like that unless we're willing to give them the opportunities because I mean it was again really really well worked but defensively you'd expect better from Paris Saint-Germain luckily though they squander the chance as Mbappe to my left Mbappe has now got Liao to his left Mbappe plays Liao Liao to finish it's two and it's come straight after Benfica have had two chances of their own we've hit them we scored 18 minutes gone PSG with a big, big advantage here in Portugal. Against Galatasaray, we were comfortable. It looked like the victory was going to be ours. But there was moments, especially at just 1-0, where all it took was a bit of momentum shifting towards Galatasaray. And you never know. Here, though, Benfica need two just to draw level. Sirachi really willing to get forwards from fullback. And now his ball backwards. Benfica, another strike from the edge of the penalty area. Ramiro saw it late. It came through a number of bodies, but he got down well to parry Weigel's effort wide. Benfica corner. And they're still mounting the pressure, to be fair to them. They're still giving this a real good go. You'd expect nothing less. Header! Ramiro, outstanding! It has been sensational today so far, Ramiro. And yet again, another top, top save. Another corner in. Again, it's going to be one. This time by Ferro. His header is wide, but Ramiro take a bow. Tried to put a press on there, but Benfica play out of it well. And now they come forwards again. Here is Lopez. Lopez, Weigel. Four minutes to go until half time. And with a scoreline of 2 0, it suggests the game has been breezy for PSG. But that has not been the case whatsoever as another chance goes begging. Another chance. Liao can look to players. We're away if we get this ball through. Are we about to do it again to Benfica? Where they have three moments and three counter-attacks for PSG. Lead to a 3-0 scoreline. It has not been breezy by any means. But PSG on course to pick up their first win of the group stage. This game is bizarre. Football is bizarre at times. We do not deserve to be 3-0 up. But that is how we find ourselves. I feel so bad on Benfica, but at the same time, you've got to take your chances in the Champions League. And they haven't done that today. Well, they've tried, but they've also come up against a man in form in Romero between the sticks of PSG. Neres forward here. Benfica with possession. Neres finds Sirachi. He'll find Musa. Still work to be done, though, for PSG as we now need to look forward again as we go for goal number four. There's an overlap on this left-hand side. And there is the pass. Manu Sanchez for Mbappe! 4-0 PSG! The difference is, when you get the ball, you need to be clinical. You need to use it well. And that's been the tail of the tape here in this one. It's just been PSG who've been using the ball when they've had it brilliantly. Lopez. Now Weigel. Weigel again from the edge of the penalty area. Ramiro wants this clean sheet. He's not going to get it. 
The ball bounces for Neres. And finally, Benfica have a goal. They get a bit of luck on this one, but they deserve it, you could say, for all of the chances they've created here tonight. Most of the time, it's been shots from the edge of the penalty area that have caused us problems. We're sort of backing off, allowing them to have these moments. Ramiro gets the save. It comes through bodies again, but I arguably do think this time around it's not a fantastic save because he pushes it back into an area where Benfica can react, and that's exactly what Neres does. Here is Mbappe. There is space for both myself and Liao. Tried to send it to Liao. Mbappe will be able to do that right now, though. There is Rafa Liao just wide. Took it early. Sent it wide. Almost the fifth for PSG. Looks like PSG have done the job here today. Three minutes added on. Benfica certainly had their moments. But when it's mattered, we put the ball in the net. And that's all we can do. Ferreira, Willock. Final few seconds now. I'll be interested to find out what's happened between Galatasaray and Manchester United. Because as we know, if United have won that, all four teams will be on four points after three games. We do have Benfica still to play today as well. So we've got a repeat of this game coming up next. Before that, though, there's a chance to join Monaco on 26 points as we have Dion, which I'm going to be sinning. I think we've got Dion and then Ream next. So... Yeah, we'll sim both of these. Like I tell you, myself and Mbappe with the goals and a 3-1 win. Good start. However, away now. So this one could be, you know what away sims are always like. They are always a little bit interesting. So this might be a different story. Bit of training as well to make sure we're in the starting 11 for this. The only problem is when you do sim games, you do lose manager rating rather quickly. So yeah. Most goal involvements, eight matches, five assists, eight goals, 13 goal involvements, in eight games. Again, we'll quick sim. Please be another three points. It is not. It is a 1-1 draw. A pender with a goal for them. Liao with a goal for us. And as mentioned, yeah, when you do sim, look how, look how much managerial rating points you lose. It is crazy. However, here's the table as of right now. Uh, Man United did draw with Galatasaray. So if we beat Benfica, we go to seven. Of course, Galatasaray and United are playing each other as well. This will be the final game of today. I did say I wanted to get here. We have got here. We could put ourselves in a great position to qualify if we are able to beat Benfica at our place. It was a tough game that you saw moments ago. We've got to try and control this one because they were really, really good. And arguably, we played almost a counter-attacking style against them. It worked. Will it work again, though? That's the question. Team News is in. I'd imagine unchanged for them. It was a good performance. And I think we're unchanged as well with Mukiele partnering Botman and Chust at the back. Here is Braun as his ball will be played forward to Musa. Musa will find it out wide again. And Benfica are already looking for their first chance of the evening. Oh, Braun! Oh, wow! <laughs> it's another let off. It really is. Right, here's where we now get the ball and go and score because that's what happened last game, wasn't it? So, yeah, they've had their chance. It's now time for us to get ours and go and score it. If it actually happens like that now... I am going to laugh. As here is Mbappe. Mbappe. Liao. Liao will find Pedri. I just said they had their chance. It's time for us. Hakimi. Mbappe. Mbappe. Liao. Oh. I mean, <laughs> it would have been quite funny, wouldn't it, if we did it the exact same way we took the lead in Portugal. Well, much quieter first half in this one so far. Here is Hakimi. Half an hour gone, still goalless. Hakimi's ball finds Liao. Liao finds Mbappe. Back the way of Rafa Liao. We just do one too many passes. It happens a lot as well. When players are in the box, you just think to yourself, someone shoots. And that is why a lot of the time I do tell my teammates to shoot because otherwise they would just sort of pass between themselves. And that's what then costs us the chance. Still, here is Benfica. No offside flag yet. We do appeal for it. Not given. And now Musa, Musa, his pass intercepted by Sanchez, Locatelli to play out, Mbappe finds me, we take the touch past the defender, it's a fantastic touch, we're bearing down on Benfica's goal, <laughs> counter attack at its finest, PSG won, Benfica nil, the touch as well, I knew the defender had to come across, I had to go back inside and then it was a pace race, which we're never going to lose. Lovely by Mbappe, though, again, to just lay the ball off. His link-up play has been phenomenal in this episode. Have to give him credit for that. Hakimi's ball forwards. We're playing from our goal kick here. Mbappe, central. 
Liao in front of him. I've also made the move. Pedri trying to spread the play. We do get there as well. Liao's waiting in the middle. Instead, we find Sanchez. Oh, it would have been. It would have been a world-class goal if he'd have scored. He tried the ambitious, but his effort goes wide. That would have been some goal, though. Into the final 20 or so minutes we go. Locatelli forward to Mbappe. Touch. Just gets him away. And not only does it get him away, but he sends it forward to myself to finish this game. And we will, in fact, oblige PSG 2, Benfica nil in what has been a much quieter second game against the Portuguese side. I think from this point now, the points should be done. If it was the first game, I wouldn't be so sure. But this one has been so, so much quieter. PSG have been better in controlling the ball, having moments where they've looked to just keep it and sort of nullify any sting that Benfica were trying to have in the way of an attack. And we picked our moments again very, very well here. And I know I mentioned his name earlier for his link-up play, but Mbappe, usually the one being found, usually the one bearing down on goal, but he has been utterly, utterly brilliant in terms of linking the play for PSG recently. And it's not an easy job to do. I've got to say that myself, as that's really, really poor by Benfica. It's going to be three, is it? Maybe. It could well be. It is indeed. It is a hat trick in the Champions League for us. It's Benfica causing themselves their own problems. And it is PSG who are loving life right now at the Park of the Princes. So, so fluid, so quick on the counter. As soon as Benfica lost it, one thought that was to play forwards. And we finish with our right this time. And we will take the match ball with us. As I was saying, Mbappe, sensational in how he's been recently. Hasn't had that many goals. I think he's only got one in the Champions League, which he got last game. But yeah, link-up play. Couldn't have scored without him. Still time as well for PSG to go for even more. Pedri, oh, here we go again. Here we go again. It is one of those Champions League nights for us, it's looking like. And it is indeed one of those Champions League nights. Players have these where they're just unplayable. And tonight, I actually haven't had to do a lot, to be honest. It's not like I'm running past five, six players. It's just one run, one pass that's finding me and the finish there to boot. They all are similar finishes as well. Just nice across the ground, sort of placed into the corner. But we are having one of those Champions League nights. Final 30 seconds, Hakimi to Willock. Willock to myself. And that is full time. PSG 4, Benfica 0 to finish the day. Forgetting very quickly about that Galatasaray Champions League game and the disappointment of conceding the 90th minute goal in the last episode because back-to-back -back wins in the Champions League group stages has put us in a great position to qualify out of the group now. And as we go today, my friends, let's take a look then at the table. Two points still behind Monaco at the moment with Ren to play next. But it's a Champions League that I'm interested in. And let's see how Galatasaray and Man United got on last time out. United lost. United are in real danger of not qualifying for the Champions League knockout stages. Galatasaray, who we face on the final day of the group stages. Yeah, they're having a blinder of a Champions League group stage here. Two wins, two draws. Zero defeats, having beaten us as well. Eight points for them, seven for us, Benfica on four. We'll see how this pans out. I'm going to try and get Benfica and United done in the next episode, so the group stage should be done next time out. But a huge thank you for watching this episode. I really appreciate you all. I really appreciate all the support as well. If you did enjoy it, a like would be greatly appreciated. 500 likes would be awesome. If you're new around here, like what you see, hit that subscribe button down below. Activate the notification bell as well to make sure you don't miss any future videos, especially with EAFC 24 right around the corner. But that's it for today. Stay safe, everyone. Have a great day. Have a great evening. And I'll see you back here for another episode in the very near future. Look after each other. And adios.